you know, get so many opportunities in this league. And you know, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to to get a chance with these guys. And you know, I just got to make the most of whatever they give me. How do you encapsulate what you have learned and taken from your past experiences in this league so far? I think I've learned a lot. You know, it uh, strengthens you uh, mentally, get bounced around a little bit, and you know, everyone kind of takes a different journey in this league. Some guys get the jersey after draft day, you know, and never look back. Other guys kind of, you know, you gotta, you gotta carve your way through. So, you know, I think uh, I've taken a lot of positives, and I've met some great people, and you know, learned a lot of lessons. And uh, this is just another uh, another chapter in it. What do you think? I guess holds you back in this past opportunities. What's your take on it? Uh, you know, I think recently is just uh, kind of the unfortunate uh, result of a, a lot of negative things that was going on within the team. You know, uh, like I said uh, yesterday, they were looking for a change. I think with uh, you know how the season had gone so far. So fortunately, as the odd man out, uh, you know, I'm confident in the way I can play though, and I you know I feel like I am a NHL defenseman and I believe in myself. So I got to make sure I prove it here. You, you know, do settle in and get maybe get that first game under your belt. You know, I'm not really sure uh, where they, they slot me in, and uh, I just got to make sure I make the most of it. Um, I'm a guy. I think I'm reliable. I can I can defend well, and I definitely think that I can chip in on the offensive side too. So uh, we'll see what they got planned for me, and I'm just gonna you know, uh, do what they ask. It'd be nice, to, yeah, just to get a game to kind of watch and kind of see how they play, you know, and. Then, then maybe go to work and get a good practice in tomorrow and yeah. nice yeah. season a little bit. Then jump in. <laughs> it's always weird, uh, you know, learning new systems. I've already been through it this year. We had a coaching change in Columbus, you know, and he, uh, Torrell came in and a lot of things changed system-wise. So you just got to stay on your toes and, uh, you know, watch the video and make sure you're, you're a student of the game and learning uh, things and, uh, you know, doing what they want. Are you familiar with anyone here that your past might have crossed before in the hockey um, world? Lindback, me, we were teammates in Dallas. Um, Martinook and Chip Trey, we, we skate together in the summers back in Edmonton. Yeah, so a bit of familiarity and, uh, you know, hockey world's a small world. Everyone knows everyone somehow, so uh, seems like a good group of guys. I'm excited to get to know everyone. You mentioned systems. Uh, a lot of guys will say that things don't really change that much from team to team, but are there significant differences that you have to learn when you come to a new club? I think so. I think, uh, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, systems defending D zone, neutral zone, four checks and uh, all that. Uh, vary from team to team. There's obviously some structure that stays the same within everyone, but uh, yeah, there's definitely going to be some uh, some changes system-wise for me, and just going to have to adapt to them and go from there. Is learning personnel just as much of a challenge, learning to play with new guys? Oh uh, yeah, everyone has uh, different habits and tendencies out there, but I think that uh, comes pretty quick when you get on the ice with the guys. Like both sides, are you? Do you have a preference, left or right? I know you're left shot, so is left your natural side? Yeah, I, I don't really prefer either side. I think there's advantages to being on both sides. So I, I played a lot of right side this year, and uh, I'm definitely comfortable on uh, on either.